Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Twilight 2K7, and we are back for brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 Firefighter mod video. And today we're going to be running Hazmat 18 and responding to a very serious call of a chlorine leak in Blaine County. So this call is from Fire Callouts. I'm actually on the Patreon version. It has a pretty much a couple of extra calls that are not on the public version yet. So if you guys want to get early access to some of the calls and some of the features, definitely check it out. I'll link it down below in the video description. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. So we are going to be doing this call hazmat call. Let's see what happens. All units, assistance required in uh, the Humane Lab facility. All right, so it looks like we have some type of industrial accident at the Humane Labs facility. Uh, uh, level one hazmat team required, respond code three. All right, so let's go ahead and get going. All right, so we got about five miles to go. This is gonna be a long run up to the county. Some of you guys may recognize these police car skins as well as the fire truck skins. These are based off of Vancouver. Oh! See that car right there. All right, so we're going to hop on to the highway and take Interstate 2 up. Finally, well, not here yet, but we're at least done on the highway. Alright guys, so we are on scene, looks like we have multiple units here, so we have rescue engine 14 is already here, we have ladder, tower ladder 5 is already here, we have an ambulance, engine 9 is here, and engine, who's that over there, engine 35 is here, okay. So everybody's here. Let's uh, hop out and let's see 
what the game plan is. Go near the other firefighters and ask what's going on. Okay. Get in there quickly. We have a firefighter and a worker missing in there. I tried to stop him, but he didn't listen. I couldn't risk sending any more of my people inside. We haven't received hazmat training. I'm not sure. All right. Well, regardless, we have to go in there, guys. So we're going to get suited up. We're, let's also grab some extra equipment. So we're going to grab our hazmat, uh, hazmat tent. We'll probably set that up right here in front for decontamination. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started, guys. All right, guys, we are suited up in our hazmat uniforms and ready to roll. Um, also, uh, just in case you guys don't already know, already know, I did spawn some extra fire trucks. So that's why we have like the tower ladder, the different type of engines, the rescue and all that stuff. We also set up a decontamination tent as well. So like all of that stuff isn't part of the call out. I just like to spawn this stuff in to make it look a little bit more realistic. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move in now. So I have my team ready, actually. Let's go ahead and go on our air now. So you guys are going to hear that. That's another cool uh, update there. So here's our decontamination tent. And we'll use that to clean off once uh, we are ready to come outside. So let's make our way inside, guys. I really don't know what to expect here. Never dealt with anything like this before, so this is going to be a learning experience for me. And I don't know, hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. Now, another cool thing we could do is put on a flashlight. So that's going to help us see. Now, we have a report of firefighters down in here. I'm not sure how many of them are in here, but we're going to make our way in and see if we can find them. Wonder how far they are in here. Okay, I see some of the gas here, the chlorine. Wait, did I just... I am lost now. I thought I was going around in a circle, but I think I'm still making my way inside. But yeah, you guys can see all the chemicals in the air. Oh, we got somebody here. Oh, we got two people. Hang on, which my uh, guys could... Uh, oh, what's happening with this guy? Alright, I'm going to try to get everybody out of here. We'll, uh, we'll do CPR outside. Let's see if I can just get them away from all of this chlorine. Oops. Well, I was going to put him down, but I might as well just run him all the way out. We already ran this far. I wanted to get this guy out first since he just has a regular mask. At least the other firefighter, he did have his tank still on, so hopefully he'll be able to last a little bit longer. 
Alright, so we'll hand this guy off to uh, EMS. I guess they'll uh, take care of him. And let's get back in there and try to rescue the other firefighter now. It would be cool if I could make my uh, other guys carry them, but there really isn't a way. I mean, I kind of could, but it just wouldn't look right. <laughs> I could just, like, attach them to them. Almost back. I think the firefighter is right on the other side of this door here. Yep, there he is. Ah, he don't have his helmet on. Alright, let's get this guy out. I wonder if there's anybody else in here. Alright, I think he's the only other person in here, so let's get him out of here. We'll come back and do another secondary search just to make sure, and we'll also check in with Command. Whoa, that looks kind of creepy coming through. So this carry feature that we're using, this is from um, Close to Callouts. It's very useful. So we could attempt CPR on them ourselves, but since we're like probably contaminated, uh, we'll just get a, uh, another unit to Ambulance. take Ambulance. care of them and they spawn right inside the tank. I mean the tank. <laughs> right, so these guys are going to take care of them. I guess we'll uh, go ahead and get cleaned off. Hopefully these two are going to make it. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and turn off the air. We're also going to have to go back and check with the uh, chief and see how many people he had in. Oh, come on. He said the firefighter didn't make it. How? Come on. I'm going to try on him. I wanted to take off this gear first, but we gotta save this firefighter, so I'm gonna do whatever it takes right now. Looks like the uh, workers are okay. Alright, so he's gonna be transported. Oh cool, they're taking him through the tent. Perfect. So he's gonna be decontaminated as well. Just role play that part out. And oh, looks like we got the firefighter up. Perfect. We'll get him decontaminated and transported to the hospital as well. That was depressing. They're probably gonna smash into every truck as they get out of here, as they try to get out of here. You okay, man? Alright guys, so we're just confirmed from the chief there was one worker missing and one firefighter missing, so we did rescue everybody. Um, I don't think we could talk to them anymore, but let me try. 
yeah i can't talk to them anymore all right so we are done uh let's go through the decontamination process we're gonna get cleaned off here take off all this gear Alright guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And um, also remember, check out my website as well. I'm always uploading new content to my website, acepilot2k7.com. I have tutorials. I have merchandise. I have... Uh, all of the mods that I use as well as some exclusive and behind the scenes content so if you guys want to see some bonus stuff head over to my website and check out the exclusive section but yeah guys that's going to do it for this one thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace